Interior, Bob's Burgers Restaurant, same day. Bob Belcher is sweeping the floor while Linda Belcher is reading the newspaper. She smiles. Ooh, a new chicken restaurant is opening up a few streets over. Chick's Hens, huh? Chick must be the building. The building? Lynn, why would the building be named Chick? Because that's where the hens live. It would be the building's hens. Chick's hens. What? Linda, I don't think the hens live in the restaurant. Chick is probably the name of the chef. Wait, Chick? Yeah, Chick. Why? Have you heard of him? Let me see that. Bob walks over the newspaper and sees a picture of Charles Chick Halstein, 45, medium height, brown hair, big smile, and a thumbs up in front of his new restaurant. Bob groans. Oh, Chick Halstein. You know him? Oh, I went to high school with him. We fought all the time over which was better, cows or chickens. It's so easy to get people to love chickens. Just throw them in a deep fire. That's not real cooking. Hmm. Anyways, senior year, we were both up for the most likely to be a chef superlative in the yearbook. I thought for sure I was a shoe in because everybody knew I liked cooking and already had experience working at my dad's restaurant. But the day of the voting, stupid chick comes in and gives everyone fresh chicken nuggets. They weren't even that good. But everyone ate them and loved them, and then he won the superlative. Stupid chick. Oh, Bobby, I'm sorry. That was a long time ago. Maybe he's changed. I don't know, Lynn. Come on, Bobby. I don't want another food feud. Pesto is already one too many. Lynn, you don't understand. <sighs> I'm going to go sweep the kitchen. Bob leaves for the kitchen. As he enters the kitchen, Teddy walks in nervously, carrying a food bag. Hi, Linda. Is Bob here? Yeah, he's in the kitchen. Bobby! Shh! 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 No, don't get him. I was walking by the new chicken place, Chick's Hens, and he was handing out free samples. I tried to resist. I really did. But he just handed me five at once, and, my, and somehow one of them got into my mouth, and bam! It's just so good, Linda. So good. Really? Let me try one. Teddy gives Linda a nugget. She eats it, and her eyes light up. Oh, 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 Teddy, this is so good! I know, right? I wanted to check in with you before I talk to Bob. He won't mind, right? They're only giving out free samples today only. Today only? Wow. But before I buy from him, I just wanted to know if it was okay with Bob. Bob walks back into the dining room. And his nuggets weren't even fully deep fried. He could have given the whole school food poisoning. Oh, hey, Teddy. Bob's upset about Chick opening a new restaurant. They went to high school together and didn't get along. Oh, oh no. So... Teddy, what's in the bag? Oh, oh, uh, what bag? This? This bag? Uh, nothing. Just something for my mom. You know how moms are always asking you to bring them stuff when you're out and stuff. In fact, I'm running late. I gotta go to my mom's right now. Teddy runs out the door. Hmm. That was weird. I mean, weirder than Teddy usually is. <laughs> yeah, that Teddy. So, Bob, you don't want to go over to Chick's Hens? I don't even want to see his picture in here, Lynn. Could you throw away the paper? <sighs> All right. Linda tosses the newspaper into the garbage. Louise and Tina enter the restaurant. Hi, Louise. Hi, Tina. Where's Gene? He got detention because of a stupid frog. What did he do? He let the frog go out the window. He didn't want to kill it. He ET'd his frog? Wow. Then what were you both doing since school ended? Skipping rocks on the wharf. What else were we supposed to do? Come here and work? Hmm. Jean walks into the restaurant, a little nervous. Hi, Jean. How was detention? Terrible, but worth it. So Sir Hopsalot could live. Sir Hopsalot? Yeah, his frog. He likes big hops and he cannot lie. Jean sighs. Am I grounded? No. No? 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 Jean, you stood up for something you believed in and thought for yourself. Killing frogs was something you didn't like and you thought was wrong and you did something about it. That was great. You ET'd the frog. What I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of you too. Come here. Linda squish hugs Jean. Thanks. That does make me feel better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So when I released the class hamster into the hallways last week, that was bad. But what Jean did was good? 
Yes, because Jean did it to save a life, not to torture Mr. Frond. Whoa, it wasn't just Mr. Frond. It was the entire teacher's lounge. That doesn't make it better, Louise. <sighs> Unbelievable. Well, now that you kids are back, I gotta run an errand. An errand? Yeah, an errand. Like a mom errand. You know, mom things, mom stuff. Lynn. I'll be back. Bye. Linda takes off her apron and then runs out the door.